Hello everyone, this is Kayla. So today um, we're going to be doing a painting video, so hopefully you'll enjoy. Alright, so the first thing that I did was I had my original drawing on some sketch paper and I used a light box to transfer um, the original drawing onto this watercolor paper here. And then the first colors that I'm using is blue watercolor. That's the only watercolor that I used for this um, painting and the rest of it was done with acrylic and with pen. So here I'm going in with a finer paintbrush to get closer to the outline of the person. So I did accidentally smear some of the gray paint onto the one person here. I did try to um, paint over it with white to cover it up, but it wasn't covering. Um, so I was originally going to make that person the white figure, um, but I decided to rearrange that and make that the darker figure then so I'm also going in and using the um, pencil eraser here to get rid of some of the uh, darker lines that I have from the, the original drawing. So here I'm going in with pen to outline um, the arms and the shoulders, the hands, the ears, and the facial features. So I decided to use pen because I knew it would be more precise um, than if I were to use um, my paint for it. I just, I didn't want the lines to be too uneven or too blotchy, so I decided to use pen.
wall painting person on this side. I did leave a gap so that way I knew where my pen line was supposed to be. This side I used a, I believe it was a gel, a white gel pen, which was, the ink was a little bit thicker um, than the other side. So I did go back in later on and paint more black over some of the spots to, to thin the line out just a little bit. So I used pink, purple, and yellow for the circles. I wanted to keep kind of a nice light um, feeling to the painting so I didn't want anything that was too dark or like any really warm tones. Um, I thought the yellow would complement the painting purple really nicely so that's why I chose those. So this was one of the parts of the painting that I was most nervous to do. Um, I really wanted to make my lines nice and precise and straight and even, so I used a ruler to help guide me to keep my hand nice and steady. Um, I used pen for this part as well, just to make it easier. I decided to sign this painting twice because I didn't want to have like a designated up or down to the painting. I want you to be able to flip it around, um, you know, have it however you'd like. So I signed both, both sides of it. Alright, so here is the finished painting. I am super happy with how it turned out. Um, and I will be making a kind of part two to this video where I kind of explain more about my ideas and um, some of the reason why I made this painting. So stay tuned. <laughs> 